Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to Redhead Takes, and today we will be breaking down the Packers' new 2024 regular season schedule. Now, of course, always, the build-up to this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, we all love football, I love football, but the amount of pomp and circumstance that goes into building this up is just a bit insane, but we'll go over it nonetheless. There are some interesting matchups for sure, and I think this is a real looking like a really good schedule. Packers could be going 12 and 5, 11, 11 and 6, something like that. I don't expect anything less than that. I don't expect a below 500 record. I think they're definitely going for the number two spot at at the least, and maybe even a far far out shot of taking the number one overseed in the NFC. Well, let's get to it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Give it a like, subscribe, all of that, and let's get into it. So, of course, the first game of the week, season being at, or what's well, ostensibly an away game in Brazil against the Eagles, but on the other hand, it is a home game as well because of the number of Packer fans that are in Brazil. By far, the Brazil fans love the Packers more than any other team in the NFL. And it's looking to be a good matchup. I think the Packers ultimately win this game or at, at the very, very worst lose by like a field goal, game ending field goal or something like that. I think they match up really well, especially if this defense can come together with the new pieces. They should be able to rattle that offensive line. Sure, the offensive line is still good, but losing Jason Kelsey is a big, is a impact. I mean, it's going... They are going to feel it on that offensive line. No matter what an equal sense will tell you, they will be hurt by the loss of Jason Kelsey. Next we have week two versus Indianapolis Colts at home. Now, who knows what Anthony Richardson is going to be this year. We have no idea. We have absolutely no idea how he's going to be. I know everybody in the Colts is probably hyping up like, oh, he's looking better than ever. He's faster. But he's still coming off that shoulder injury, which could be a recurring injury. Just that some quarterbacks have, some players have, and especially a running quarterback like him, injuries are, it's not a matter of when, it's not a matter of what happens, it's a matter of when, he's going to get injured, it's just, his play style opens it up to hits that, nor, or in the pocket quarterbacks would not necessarily take all the time, but I think the Packers win this, win this game ultimately, it should be a good game. Colts look better with their new pieces on defense, and well, I think for Indianapolis, their defense, their success depends on the success of Latu, or I forgot his first name, their number one pick, he should be really good for them, but their offense is still a little bit of a patchwork, just because we don't know what Anthony Richardson is going to be this year, but ultimately I think the Packers win that game as well. Next one at Tennessee. I would say this is a win. If they lose this game, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna. I would be very upset because the Titans are not gonna be very good this year. They had a decent draft, um, but who knows what their quarterback is gonna be this year? The mailman. Um, I mean, their defense is kind of in shambles, but slowly building it back up. No Derrick Henry, although Tajay Spears will be a good running back this year. If you're looking for a sleeper pick for a fantasy running back this year, look for Tashay Spears because he could be a real game changer this year and could be the surprise of the year. Uh, I think ultimately they win this game, but it's in Tennessee, so the Packers have had mixed results there over the years, but I think ultimately they win. Next, at home against Minnesota, that is going to be a very closely competitive game. It always is. I will be at that game. Yours truly will be at that game, talking about the game, sending out videos, and it should be very exciting. J.J. McCarthy more than likely will be the starting quarterback. I mean, Sam Darnold is ostensibly the number one option right now just because J.J. McCarthy is a rookie, but you know how a lot of NFL teams are. When they draft their number one quarterback, they want him out there as soon as possible. No rest, no learning. No, just, just learn on the fly. Yeah, just throw your quarterback into the fire, especially with your um, mediocre offensive line. Let's be honest, Minnesota Vikings fans, your offensive line is not that great. It was middle to the bottom third of the league last year. Still have some pieces on that offensive line, but nothing special. And 
who knows what J.J. McCarthy is going to be. I think they the Vikings totally reached on him. If I'm honest, he's just, I'm not saying he's going to be back quarterback. I think he'll still be a better quarterback than Caleb Williams when it's all said and done, just because the Bears don't know how to manage quarterbacks. But it should be a close game. They always play each other tough. Um, I think the Packers ultimately win this game, but it will be close. I would not be surprised if they lost. But at the same time, I think just the way the Packers are being built right now, I think it's just hard to see the Vikings beating the Packers this year. I think ultimately, I think the Packers sweep the Vikings this year, which I've not been able to say for a while. So they win, they sweep, they should sweep the Vikings this year and start out 4 0, which would be a great start. Now, here comes their first game where I think they was at, at LA. I don't, I don't believe the Packers have ever played in that stadium before. Maybe they have. You can remind me, at least the new stadium. I don't think they ever played there, but. Well, at least against the Rams. I think they played there against the Chargers, but it should be a good game. But I think uh, when the Packers did beat the Rams last year, but no Stafford. And Stafford sometimes has the ability to cook the Packers at time. And although I think the Packers uh, defensive backs and just defense overall will be much improved, I think they ultimately this will be the first game they lose in L.A. Matt Stafford has been playing well for most of his time there. Um, got a tandem hit running back, which who knows what if Cam Akers is going to bounce back and do well this year. Not Cam Akers, what are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, who are, their running backs are good. They have some good pieces on offense. And their defense will have lost a step with the loss of Aaron Donald, but I think they had a good draft nonetheless. And should be a good game but ultimately I think the Packers lose you know and sorry for the full punt Cam Akers he's not with the Rams anymore he's with the Vikings still I believe but yeah next is against the Arizona Cardinals I think they win this one going away Cardinals are a bad team bad franchise sure I'm sure people are saying oh Marvin Harrison will cook the Packers like nope they won't Pat or I'm sure Jair will lock down Mar or will lock down Marvin Harrison Jr. And ultimately, the Packers win by a pretty comfortable margin. I mean, it's in Green Bay. I don't see them losing to Arizona in Green Bay. I think that would be a huge, huge step back if they ended up losing to them. Next game against Houston Texans. Now, that is going to be a great game. One of the must-watch games of the year. It's going to be a shootout, I'm sure. Both teams are going to go back and forth. I think ultimately the Texans may prevail, may prevail, but I'm going to give it to the Packers in this one. It should be a great game regardless. And I think the Packers would just have a little bit more, and I think the Texans are going to be good. But I think let's pump the brakes on the Texans. They had a great year last year. They had a great surprise year making it to the playoffs and making it to the divisional round. But let's pump the brakes on the Texans. I mean, they still got Stephon Diggs, who is still a great player, but he's a locker room cancer at its finest. And I think it could go very well for the Texans, or it could also go very badly. I mean, he could break that up that locker room, and you don't want to break up a young locker room like this with an idiot like Stephon Diggs. But I think the Packers ultimately win in a close game. Packers at Jacksonville. Now this game is sneaky because um, Josh Allen had a great year last year rushing. Um, he should have a good year this year again. Um, this game will come down to uh, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence will be the ultimate decider in this game because if he plays like he did last year, Packers will win this game. But if he shows what the... the potential that everybody believes him to have it'll be a very close game plus it's in Jacksonville and it's in late October so it shouldn't be as warm as a early September game would be but it'll still be warmer than most games the Packers will play in this year and it's going to be a very close game frankly I think the Packers could lose this game I think they ultimately get the win but like I said, it all depends on Trevor Lawrence and how he's able to play this year. Because, just on a side note, for 
Jaguars. If Trevor Lawrence does not play well this year, even with the talent they assembled around him, it might be time to question whether he's the guy. Because I think there's already questions going around in some Jaguars fans' heads that is he really the guy? Because, I mean, after the playoff collapse, or, I mean, even after the playoff win they had, it's just, it hasn't gone well for them. That collapse last year was terrible for them. And they need to rebound in a big way this year. And especially with their division getting better, they need to win games. And this is one of those games they they should they should be able to win, but I think the Packers will only pull out against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Next, another potential loss. Now I'm not sure. I think the Lions and the Packers will split the series this year. Depending on who wins what. The Lions have won in Green Bay like the last three out of the four years, so I mean, it could very well be that this is a game that the Lions win and the Packers win in Detroit. I will say for now, or where we're at now, the Lions win this game and the Packers go into the bye week at, uh, let's see, seven. go into the bye week 7-2, and two, which would be a very good milestone for them if they went into the bye week. At seven and two, I think it'll still be a great game, but ultimately, Lions have had the Packers number in Lambeau, so it's a very real possibility the Packers lose in Lambeau. But next we have our bye week, which is nice to see. It's nice to see the Packers have a late bye week for a change. It seems like the past couple years they had early bye weeks and had had to make their way through lots and lots of injuries, but it won't be different this year. And then the week after the bye week, they start up in Chicago. At Chicago. Um, again, I think the Packers ultimately sweep the Bears this year as well. Um, again, for the Bears, it all comes down to the play of Caleb Williams. You know their defense is going to be pretty good. Their offensive line should be a little bit more improved. They have a nice rushing attack. Um, they have lots of wide receivers. As Bear fans will no doubt continue to remind you, look at her. Look at her stash of wide receivers oh my god we're just gonna cook everybody we're just gonna beat everybody so badly with this year well, let's pump the brakes on that Chicago fans I mean you have DJ Moore great wide receiver Roma Dunce is a good looking wide receiver coming into the week but again unproven and Keenan Allen has been great he also has a huge injury history and he's getting older and eventually he's going to break down and would it be surprise anybody if this or if with the Bears he finally breaks down because that's just what the Bears do break down players because they're just not a well run organization. I don't know. It could very well be that, but I think the Packers coming out of the bye week swing, win this game, and go to eight and two next week at home against San Francisco. Now it's get mid mid uh, November, um, the Sunday before Thanksgiving. It's in Green Bay, so it could be it could be cold and snowy. It could be moderately temperature. Who knows? It's probably going to be the premier game of the week for most NFL fans. I don't know what's going to happen with the 49ers this year. They're still going to be great. They're still going to be a great team. Their offense is still going to be fantastic, but the defense lost some pieces last year for sure. Then, with the injuries they had have this year and the and the guys they lost over the offseason it could be a rebuilding year of sorts for their defense not really more like a retooling year but 49ers is still going to be great still going to be a great game i'll give the win to the 49ers for now just until just on paper it looks like the 49ers are a better team so i think the 49ers win this game and as a result the packers will be eight and three which is pretty good so far eight and three Midway or towards the end of November is a good mark. Next, we have our first of four straight prime time games for the Packers, which is weird. I wish they would have um, spread those out a little bit more, but they're playing Miami. Now, Miami lost a lot of pieces on defense this year. Still have Tua, still have Tyreek, still have Jalen Waddle, still have a decent, still have a good rushing attack, a good couple of really good running backs but their defense is going to fall, fall. and as we know the Vol Vol Dolphins don't play well in the cold 
and though Thanksgiving in Green Bay could very well, like the game before, it could be cold. It could be really cold, and Miami does not, as we know, don't play well in the cold. I think the Packers ultimately win this game. They beat them the last time they played, and it was a, it was just a much less off Packer team. This Packer team will be rolling at this time. I mean, they'll be coming off a loss, playing in Lambeau on Thanksgiving. That place, Lambeau's going to be rocking. They're going to be ready to go. They're going to be ready to beat the brains out of the Miami Dolphins. And the Packers ultimately win. Should be a close game regardless, but I think the Packers win, to be honest. Next, at, Green, at Detroit. Like I said, like I was saying earlier, Packers have had, have had a little bit more success in Detroit of late than... I mean, Detroit had their number a lot the last couple of seasons, but as we saw last year, the Packers came in to Detroit on Thanksgiving and beat the pants of the Lions, despite what the score says. The Packers won that game going away. They had that game in the bag, but should be a close game again. I think the Packers ultimately succeed. I don't see them getting swept in the Lions. I see the Packers sp- splitting with them like they have been for the past couple of years. Although, not really. The last couple, last few years, the, pack, or the Lions have won like the last, or one four in a row up until the game in against uh, the Packers on Thanksgiving. So, I think the Packers ultimately win this game, but it is going to be a very close game. Nine and three. Next we have the Packers versus the Seattle Seahawks. Now the Seattle Seahawks are going to be an interesting team. I mean, their defense, if you believe all the Seahawks fans, their defense is complete. They're going to be like the Legion of Boom, although I still think they have uh, weaknesses in their secondary. I mean, Tariq Wollin is a good player, but he didn't have the greatest year last year. But Byron Murphy will be great for them in the middle. And the offense, I still think it's a mixed bag. I still don't like Geno. I mean, he had that rebound, but I still don't think he's a great quarterback. He really isn't. And yes, they have all the wide receiving talent in the world, but they still have some malcontents in, in that team. Henny Walker is a good running back, but had a not so good end of the year last year. Um, Packers win in Seattle, although it wouldn't be surprised me if they try to do Fail Mary 2.0 because Seattle is always looking to screw the Packers, and I hate Seattle. Like, like my fellow Packer YouTube Tom Grassi, I hate the Seattle Seahawks with a burning passion. I think they're not a great, or I think they're a well-run organization, but I just think they've always had a bunch of scumbags in their team. Like Richard Sherman was a scummy player, but Packers win this game, but it'll be close. Next, at home against New Orleans, the 16th of December should be a great game. Packers, I think, will... I don't know. I think the Packers lose this game. I think the Packers lose this game. But they'll be... It'll still be a close game nonetheless. Saints, for some reason, have had the Packers numbers a lot over the years. Especially since the start of the 2000s. The Saints have just been the team that just... I don't know where it just beats the Packers all the time. No matter where each team sits... New Orleans just has had the Packers numbers over the years, and I think they ultimately win this game, but it'll be close nonetheless. And I just I I would like like to think the Packers win, but I don't think they end the season on a 4-0 victory streak. No, I don't think that happens. But next we have at Minnesota, and Packers have kind of had the Vikings number in Minnesota of weight, to be honest. Um, Minnesota, that place is going to be rocking. But also, I think the Vikings are going to be in last place this year. So I think they'll be, at this point, they'll be out of playoff contention. And they'll probably be looking to play spoiler for the Packers, who are probably at this point will be looking at the two at the two seed at worst, two or third seed at worst. And should be a great game. It always is a good game in Minnesota. But ultimately, the Packers win but it should be close, like most of the games this year. I don't see the Packers blowing out anybody this year, except maybe Arizona. But other than that, all these games, I look for them to be really close throughout the season. And finally, 
as expected, they have the Packers playing Chicago in Green Bay. Time to be determined. And at this point, I think the Bears will be again like the Vikings, but a little better. They'll be like a game out of the playoffs with maybe that small, slim chance of sneaking in if all of the cards fall right. But ultimately, like I said, I think Caleb Williams drives this team. And like I said before, I think Caleb Williams is not going to be a great quarterback in the league. I don't think he's going to be a great quarterback. This way, what everybody else says. I just think you need to let these quarterbacks time to grow. You need to let them have time to grow. I mean, the Bears... You've done this so many times where you just throw your quarterback into the fire without the faintest hope of learning on on the bench, you know, getting better, learning behind a competent quarterback. You know, you're always, you're always just throwing your new quarterback out there into the fire. People think he's just the greatest thing that's ever been. He's like, well, no, he was a turnover machine at USC last year. He didn't have the best year. I'm not going to get into the crybaby stuff, I've, or, or I've wavered that <laughs> enough, but I think the Packers ultimately win this game and punch their ticket for the number two seed, and when it's all said and done, I think I had the Packers at 13-4, and four, but that's probably a little optimistic, and it could and it will probably change as the season go, goes along, but ultimately, I think the Packers win, are going into the playoffs, at worst the two seed. 13 and 4, looking strong as ever, looking like a real Super Bowl contender. And I'll probably be seen as a homer, but I've tried to analyze this as best as I can, just with the coming off the mini camp, the mini camp going. We haven't even gotten into training camp yet. They haven't even gotten a real look at some of these guys, but Packers are looking at a great season with a real potential at bringing home another Lombardi trophy at the end of the year. But let me know what you think down below. Have a great day. As always, God bless, and go Pack Go.